There are times when you create open shapes where you want to close a path, or you may deliberately separate shapes and then want to rejoin them. For example, in this situation where I've separated the two ends of the bone just to add a new section in the middle to make it a bit longer. And that's what we're going to have a look at here, how to join paths. So if you want to follow along, you can open up joinpathsskullstart.ai and I'm in the process of creating this skull and crossbones. Now, I realised that my bone wasn't big enough, so I've separated it using the scissors tool and you'll see I've now got two individual shapes that I now want to join back together. And I can use the join command to do that. So the way that it works is I choose the direct selection tool and select the points that I want to join. Now I need to select them individually. And if we just hide my transparency grid, you'll be able to see clearly that I only have this point selected. Now, if we need to make that a bit clearer, we can go to our preferences and we'll start in the general preferences. And you notice that there are different controls, different sections to the preferences. I want you to go into selection and anchor display. What we can do in here is just decide to make the points a little bit bigger. So we can just click on one of these to make our points a little bit bigger, a little bit easier for us to see. So I'll click on OK. And now you should see the points a little bit easier in the handles. So you'll notice that this one is selected. If you want to see it a bit clearer as well, I can zoom in. And what I need to do now is select another one. So I'm going to shift select this one. And if I go to object, path, join, it will join them together and create a closed shape. Now that's not really what I want to do here. So I'm going to undo that. And instead, we're going to select the end of this path and the end of that path. Now I can select them by shift selecting them, but it's much easier just to select them by clicking and dragging a marquee and then go to Object, Path, Join. Now you'll notice there's a keyboard shortcut for that, which is Command-J or Control-J on Windows. So if I click on that, it creates a new path for me. It's a little bit too straight, but there's plenty of tools that I can use to just roughen up that a little bit. So I'm then going to select the bottom two points. Now you'll notice that you have to be careful. If you've actually got a fill in that shape and you try and drag a selection from the middle, you're actually going to select the shape. If I go back to view my transparency grid again, if I click here, I'm actually going to pick up the bone and move it. So if you're dragging a selection, make sure you do it from outside the shape. And I can drag to select those two points and now hit Command J or Control J on Windows and I join the path back together. So that's how you can join paths in Adobe Illustrator.